So when you receive your hand mentor, it's important to remember to insert the plug into the back of the control unit. After this, ensure that the power cord is plugged into a three-pronged outlet in the wall. Now go to the back of the control box and locate the power switch and flip it to the on position. To get started, let's connect the cords. You have a gray cord and a white cord. The gray cord is your data cord and the white cord is for the pressure that moves the device. The white cord has a little white clip that inserts on the far left plug. Now notice the two little ridges on the gray cord. The arrow marks the ridges and you put that up and then slide it in. It should click. Locate the front of the control box. On the bottom left side, you will notice a white outlet. Insert the white cord plug here. Now take the gray cord and notice the black arrows on the cable plug. Make sure these are on top. Now plug it into the outlet next to the white outlet. Make sure it clicks into place to ensure connection. Now the device is plugged in and ready to go. We want to talk about positioning in order to use the hand mentor. When working with the hand mentor, it's important to ensure that there is free range of motion about the hand. To ensure this, on the supporting surface, allow two to three inches of extra room around the wrist joint. This allows free flexion and extension around the hand. Once this position is done correctly, we can then work with donning the hand mentor. The easiest way to do this is to free open the screws on the hand to allow easy access and entry. The first step is to slide the fingers into the foam finger spreader. It's important at this step to ensure that each of the fingers is separately spaced by the foam finger spreader. At this point, before securing the hands, we want to make sure that the wrist axis is in line with the axis of the robotic device. This ensures that there's free range of motion around the device. Once that's lined up, we want to affix the foam finger support and gently strap that down. It should be firm, but not constricting. Once this is done, we'll then attach the volar strap to affix the forearm of the hand mentor. This again should be firm, but not too firm. Please confirm with your patient that this is comfortable and not too restrictive. Once this is done, please confirm that the device works in full flexion and extension. Now let's play some games. After you put the device on, you're going to power on the controller and we're going to see a logo screen before we see the game selection screen. If at any point you feel un uncomfortable, hit the big red emergency button in the front. This will release all pressure from the device and display an emergency button pressed screen. When you're ready again to resume your exercise, switch off the device in the back and switch it back on. The first game that we're going to play is the thermometer game. We're going to enter the game by clicking on thermometer as the first item on the menu. The device is going to pump up and inflate to a stretched position. This is a stretching exercise. Our goal here is to stay as relaxed as possible. And as we relax, we're going to bring the green indicator in the middle here from red to orange to yellow to green. The more you relax, the lower it will go. The game will start by pumping you to a stretched position. And as you relax, you're going to see the indicator move down. And the more you relax, the lower it will go. The exercise, the stretch will last 30 seconds. And in between each cycle, you're gonna have about five seconds of rest. The goal here is to get the indicator as low as possible. Just relax. If at any time you need to pause the game to go to the bathroom or take a quick phone call, but you plan on resuming where you left off, you can hit the pause button on the bottom right of the screen. This will pause the game, the exercise, and when you're ready, you can hit the resume button on the bottom right to pick up where you left off. If for some reason you need to interrupt the game, you can quit by first hitting pause and then hitting the quit button. This will take you back to the game selection screen where you can hit the power switch in the back, power off the device, and take off the hand or foot mentor. 
The second game we're going to play is the Strongman Up game. We're going to enter that by hitting the Strongman game from the game selection menu. You're going to hit next on the bottom right and then start game to begin the exercise. Here, you will lift your hand up, and as you do, the strongman will raise the barbell above his head. When you reach your goal, you'll see excellent on the bottom, and you'll have a few seconds of pause before the next exercise. As the game progresses, and as your exercises progress, the game will get more difficult. If you're having difficulty getting to the goal, and you can't quite get the barbell all the way to the top, keep trying, and Eventually, the device will give you an assist and show you where your goal is, and then it will give you a small stretch for 30 seconds. Just relax during the stretch, and afterwards, we'll resume the next cycle of the exercise. After completing the Strongman Up exercise, you'll be returned to the game selection menu. Next, we're going to do the Strongman game. We're going to select the Strongman game, And then we're going to hit next and start game on the bottom right. In this exercise, first we're going to flex down to pick up the bar. As you move your hand down, the strong man will move and pick up the barbell. And then when you see the good, now lift your hand up towards the ceiling. Keep going until the barbell is completely over the strong man's head. Excellent. And we will rest for a few seconds as you, after you reach your goal. Just like the strong man up game, if you're having trouble reaching your goal, the device will kick in and help you, and then will give you a small stretch for 30 seconds before continuing into your next cycle. After completing the exercise, you're going to see a score screen. You're going to hit new game to return to the game selection screen. Okay, next we're going to play the Therapong game. We're going to select Therapong, and we're going to hit next and start game on the bottom right. In this game, you're going to be the paddle on the right side. As you move up and down, your paddle will move accordingly. You'll be playing against a computer opponent on the left side of the screen. And your goal is to prevent the ball from getting past you. The score is displayed on the bottom and along with your time. To resume the next volley after scoring, simply move your hand up or down. Finally, we're going to play the balloon game. Select balloon from the game selection menu and then hit next and start on the bottom right. Your goal here is to avoid the obstacles that are coming at you. You're going to move your hand up and down in order to move the balloon up and down. You're going to try to avoid the obstacles that are coming at you. They can be airplanes, clouds, or boats. If you hit an obstacle, we'll start again. Periodically, you'll get to a small island, which you'll rest before continuing your exercise. Once you've completed your last exercise, you'll be returned to the game selection menu. Now you can take off your hand or foot mentor. When disassembling the hand mentor, Unstrap the foam finger support on the hand mentor. Second, unstrap the forearm straps. Third, slip your hand out of the hand mentor and lay it back on the table. Now let's disconnect the cords from the control box. To remove the gray cord, simply grab it by the sides and pull straight out. Do not twist. To remove the white cord, there is a silver clip on the top. Press down on the silver clip and pull the white cord straight out. Now we need to remove the cords from the hand mentor. To remove the gray cord, simply grab it by the sides and pull straight out. Do not twist. To remove the white cord, there is a silver clip on the top. Press down on the silver clip and pull the white cord straight out. Now let's go to the back of the control box and switch the power off with the power switch. Unplug the power cord from the wall outlet and from the Hand Mentor control box, and store your Hand Mentor in an easily accessible place for future use.